close your eyes, focus on your breath, and stay there. Now, to stay there requires some good qualities in the mind. It requires mindfulness, alertness. It requires that you really give yourself to this practice. And that's why we meditate, is because we want to develop these qualities, this ability to keep things in mind, that's what mindfulness is about, and the ability to know what you're doing and see what the results are. And then the determination to do it well. After all, our life is based on our actions, and if our actions are not good, what kind of life are you going to have? It's not, certainly not going to be the kind of life you want. You have to realize it comes from your actions. All too often we're concerned with what other people do for us and what things happen to us. And the question of whether things are going to be good or bad is largely up to forces outside of ourselves. That's our attitude. And as a result, our, our happiness is left to chance. Whereas the Buddha said that's not the case. The case actually is that it's shaped by your actions, the quality of your thoughts, the quality of your words, the quality of your deeds. And all that comes out of the mind. So you want to make sure your mind is in good shape. If the mind is in good shape, it creates a good life. It's that simple. So try to keep your mind fit. This is why we exercise these qualities of mindfulness and alertness. It's like exercising your body. You don't go down to the gym, and even though lifting the weights and everything it doesn't really accomplish anything in terms of the world, that that fact is that you get stronger as a result. Then you can take that strength out into the world and do something useful with it. That's the same with the mind. You're sitting here and meditating. Okay, you're getting the mind in good shape so that when you deal with things in terms of other people, you deal with thoughts, you, whatever comes your way, you're dealing with skill, you're dealing with strength. And that way your life comes out a lot better, because you're putting a lot of good energy into it. It's the energy you put into it that determines whether you're going to experience happiness or, or sadness, pleasure or pain. So try to strengthen the mind, strengthen all the good qualities in the mind by exercising them every day, keeping them here with the breath, with the breath. It may not seem like much, but the mind improves. And it turns out that your body gets healthier, too. As you work with the breath, make sure it's comfortable all the way in, all the way out. That's going to be good for all the different organs in the body. So the kind of illnesses that come from stress, the illnesses that come from overwork, they get weakened. Sometimes they just go away as you learn how to breathe in a way that's really nourishing for the body. So both sides benefit, the body and the mind, and both sides in terms of you and the world outside benefit as well as you follow this practice of strengthening these good qualities in mind. So make sure that you do it every day. It's like Again, it's like exercising your body. You exercise it once a week, you become a weekend warrior. You know what happens to weekend warriors? They injure themselves because they try to make up in one day for all the things they didn't do during the week. And it's the same with the meditation. Some people come out and they want to meditate and be quiet for you know, 10 hours at a stretch. And then they break down because they haven't been maintaining a, the quality of awareness that they need to keep that going throughout the week. So make sure this is an everyday practice that you follow. Strengthen your mind every day with mindfulness, with alertness, concentration. All these good qualities that come when you learn how to focus on the breath and stay on the breath in a way that feels really good, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out, each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. 